This has been a 30 year battle. We've seen our students suffer by this weaponizing of public education. Everybody has seen the impact of underfunding public schools. Our Constitution tells us that our young people, our students, our children have a right to a sound basic education. And it's been over 25 years that the North Carolina Supreme Court said our students weren't getting that. And so for those folks who have been elected to not be able to uh, uphold the Constitution, it's a failure of leadership. Fast forward 27 years later, there's a new judge who's assigned to the case who looks at the facts and merits of the case and says, oh, okay, something's not right. About damn time. What we just saw take place was a historic, unprecedented amount of funding directly going to counties in this state and school districts in those counties that for a long time, over 30 years, have not received this type of funding. When I think about low income, low wealth, families, families with disabilities, English language students, black and brown students, like all of these groups of students have the opportunity to be positively impacted by this ruling. I think regardless of where you live in North Carolina, uh, you have to be impressed that the Constitution set a standard over 100 years ago that is being upheld right now in 2021 to ensure that in 2022 and beyond that the North Carolina that we have come from can ensure that we're going in the direction to continue to support our future and our students. And so to see such an expansive ruling reach so many different lives of individuals, I think it speaks in this moment that we must pause and celebrate the significance of this historic win for all individuals. This is not just a win for rural or urban or Democrat or Republican. This is a win for our state. It's a victory for our communities, right? If our education system is strong, it can only provide strong students who can then graduate and become productive citizens in our state. So it's a win-win for everybody. And so for the advocates that have been fighting for a number of years, this is a historic win for them and reason for folks to keep on working. Pat yourself on the back, but keep moving. Celebrating the victory to me is celebrating the victory, but it's also fuel for the fire. One victory is not the end, right? It's the beginning. It means so much for where I see North Carolina going, for who gets included in where North Carolina is going. And it makes sure that we can go much further as North Carolinians when we are funding everyone equitably together, moving this country forward, moving the state forward, starting with access to a sound, basic public education.